Hey, what's up guys? Roman here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at four cases by a company called Caseco. These are gonna be for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, but they have many different variants available. So I'll go ahead and show you what these look like on the phone and why I think you should consider buying them. Let's go ahead and dive into it. All right guys, welcome back. So before we get started, in full disclosure, Caseco did send me all four of these cases for free for me to try out and review. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you my unbiased opinion on these cases. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one is going to be this blue slim matte case. Now this is a super, super thin uh, case that will give your iPhone a unique look. Uh, it does support MagSafe. It is considered what they call to be incredibly slim. Uh, it does have military armor level shot proofing. Now on that note, I will probably somewhat disagree based on how thin this is. I have not dropped my phone, but I think uh, military grade is probably a bit of a push. Um, I would consider this to be mid to minimal protection just because it's super thin. It doesn't have any shot absorbers or anything like that, as you guys can see here. So I wouldn't personally consider this military armor level protection, but Caseco does. It is silky to the touch and it does have a pretty good grip on it. I'll show you what this looks like on the phone itself after putting it in here. And so again, this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So this is what it looks like in, in the back for the camera. I love the slick look of it. It does not collect fingerprints, which is awesome. It is scratch resistant as well. And here is the front. There we go. Nice and clean. It's got a great view of the buttons on the side. And when you do press these, they feel good. They feel natural. So this is probably one of my favorite cases to send just because again, it doesn't add a whole lot of bulk to it. All right, moving on, case number two. All right, case number two is going to be this one right here. This is called a hard protective case. It comes in a black color. Again, this also supports Apple uh, MagSafe, which I'll talk about towards the end of the video here, just to kind of fill you guys in on my experience with it. And I'll actually show you what it feels like on the phone. Um, but this is a clear back, so you can actually see your phone in the back of it. It does not turn yellow, so it is anti-yellowing. Um, they also claim this to be military grade. And this one, I do agree. This one has got pretty good protection, pretty good, got a pretty good buffer, I would feel. If, if I did drop this, I think it would probably uh, take a shock a lot better than a hard case like this that's super thin. Uh, so I would agree this is probably midline where it's protective and, and things like that. Uh, it does feel great to the touch. It is, it, it's got a grip on the side so it feels great. One thing I personally don't like uh, is the big branding on the side, but it's not a, a huge deal as you guys can see there. On the side it's got their name brand, which most you know, companies out there do put their names on the product. So not a huge deal, but I wish that was uh, a little bit more hidden. That way it gives it a, a better black finish look to it. So this is, again, the hard protective case in black. Case number three is going to be this all clear protective case. And it's actually called that on their website as well. Just the protective clear case. And this right here, again, supports Apple MagSafe. And the best thing about this is, regardless of what color you have, if you want to show off your phone, it's got transparency from the side as well as the back. So now you can actually show uh, through crystal clear case what kind of phone you have, what color you're rocking, and uh, things like that. So it does claim to be 99% uh, transparent, where other brands typically are about 95% transparent. And this also does not have, will not turn colors, like different like yellowish colors or things like that. So it is anti-coloring and it is safe. They've tested this from a distance of five foot drop and it was able to hold its duty, protected the phone, so which is great. So it does add a little bit more bulk to it um, based on the other two that I shared with you guys. I would say it's probably similar to the black one uh, as far as bulk goes. But again, this is not smaller than the super thin blue case, the slim one. So this will provide better protection uh, in case you did drop it. So 
that is reassuring. I think that's probably the biggest thing is when people buy clear cases, they worry about it turning yellowish, which I personally have had in the past. A lot of them do turn yellow just because of, you know, sunlight and other factors that your phones are exposed to, but this one does not turn yellow. It is anti-coloring. So if you want a clear case that doesn't turn yellow, check out the link below in my description uh, and you guys can go pick this up from their website. Moving on to the fourth uh, case and this one looks really cool. This is actually called the armor case and as you guys can see here as to why because it's got more of an armor look to it. It looks really cool and um, I, again I'm not a big fan of branding so I wish this branding was in here maybe like towards the bottom or towards the side like they had in the other case but overall this looks pretty cool on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Let me show you just like that and here's kind of what it looks like. Same thing with this, the buttons, all of them, all the buttons actually feel great. They feel very natural when I press them. Um, so no worries there. And this I would think is probably the most shock absorbent uh, based on what it looks like, the way it's set up. It does have, as you can see here, uh, it does have extra edges, which provide a little bit more protection uh, where other ones don't. So that's kind of nice. Uh, it's got an extra layer there on each of its corners. So that's kind of cool. So that does provide extra protection. All right, let's talk about the MagSafe uh, on these phones. Now, Kesco is claiming that they do work with MagSafe, which to some extent they do, but let me give you an example. So with this one, the military grade one, the charger works fine. But if I was to take my MagSafe wallet, which by the way, um, I talked extensively about in my other video, if you have not checked it out, I'll go ahead and link it here. Go check it out after you get done watching this. But if I was to put this uh, on and try to attempt to have it stick here, as you guys can see, it basically falls off. So this, with the armor case, the MagSafe wallet will will be very basic, if anything. I mean, this really is almost impossible to keep on. It does stick, but with a little bit of shake, it falls right off. So this case with MagSafe accessories, outside of its charger, would not work. So if that's what you're looking for, do not buy the armored case. But with other cases, I'll show you guys the difference between the original Apple one, uh, Apple case that I have, uh, the leather one, this case versus these, how well it works. And I'll tell you why it, it really doesn't work that well on these cases. It works, just not well enough. So for example, we'll take, again, the slimmest one, which is this one here, the blue case. I'm gonna go ahead and put my phone in it and go ahead and stick this on. And this does work. As you guys can see, it is stuck on there with the magnet. If I shake it, it kind of moves, it falls off just like that. So while it does stick to it, it doesn't do a great job. It's just not strong enough for it to stick. Now, the reason why is this is why. Let me go ahead and take my phone off. If I have my phone without the case and I put this on, as you guys can see, it sticks. If I shake it, about the same strength of the shake, nothing happens, it stays on there. Okay, great. If I take my case, this is an original Apple case, uh, the leather case by Apple, and I put my wallet on here, and guess what? It sticks to the case, not to the phone, but to the case itself. If I shake this, it's still on there, right? Doesn't really fall off. The reason is they have a magnetic device in here or something in here that makes this wallet stick to the case itself. So the phone's right here, but the case itself has something in it. Where these do not, these simply just fall right off. They, they do not stick. So the magnetic current that it's getting is actually getting it from the phone through the case, which makes it very, very weak. So while it does stick to it, would I trust it myself? I wouldn't. Um, you guys, if you follow me, you already know how I feel about even having this on the Apple device itself but with this case while again it does support it it just wouldn't be at all functional so yeah that's my my take on the case with the MagSafe charge wise works wallet wise I wouldn't recommend it all right so those are the four cases by Caseco I think again personally one that is the most discreet and most slim it's going to be this one here the one that offers probably the most protection is going to be this armor case here that's where it gets its name from, the armor case. 
um, but those are the four cases for review. I have actually used each one of these cases on my phone and I would say I feel very confident in them protecting my phone um, outside of probably this slim one, but that's not really what it's made for. It's made for minimal protection in my opinion while still giving you a really cool and unique look to your phone. But outside of that, I think they would do a great job overall protecting your phone. So if you are interested in picking these up, they actually are priced very well. I'll go ahead and drop a, a link in my description below. So make sure you go check them out. They have free shipping, uh, awesome customer service, and they do ship globally. So if you are interested in not only just iPhone, uh, iPhone models, they do have Samsung models as well. Go check them out. I would personally highly recommend them. And if you do pick one up, let me know what you guys think of it as well in the comment section below. If any four of these catch your attention, let me know which one. And all right, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as bell notifications so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.